Hey, designers, today we're diving into Figma's fantastic tool called Auto Layout. Auto Layout is like having a design assistant that aligns for you. Seriously, once you start using Auto Layout, your design game goes to a whole new level. Now, let's see how to add Auto Layout to your text. Right click and add Auto Layout or use the shortcut Shift plus A. That's it. Adding Auto Layout is easy. Now, let's explore the properties you get in Auto Layout. In Layouts, we have Vertical, Horizontal, and Wrap. Next is adjusting the gap between items vertically and horizontally. Then comes Padding. You can change Vertical Padding, Horizontal Padding, or tweak each value individually. Now, let's take a deep dive into Auto Layout properties. Let's take a look in Layouts. First off, Vertical Layout. All elements align vertically. Now switch it to Horizontal. Now all elements are horizontally aligned. And the last one is Wrap, where all elements align both vertically and horizontally. Wrap dynamically adjusts when you resize it. Let's talk about the gap between items. In a vertical layout, you get a vertical gap. It's like giving distance between each item. You can play with the numbers or let the auto setting property decide the distance according to the layout you set. The same goes for the horizontal gap between items. Set it by the numbers or let the auto setting property adjust accordingly. Padding. You can adjust the padding no matter which layout you choose. You can adjust horizontal padding and vertical padding. Adjust horizontal padding and it applies to both sides, left and right. Vertical padding is the same thing, but top and bottom. There's one more option for advanced users, individual padding. It's like having complete control of where you want your element to be. Let's talk about alignment, the most important setting. When you're using this property, you will mostly set a bounding box or room to align. It's mostly the same in all three layouts, but it sticks to its layout setting mostly. You get options like left bottom, left center, left top, center top, right top, right center, right bottom, center bottom, and center. Now, let's see how to create a button using auto layout. Add the text, get started. Create an arrow, auto layout the text, and then auto layout the arrow. Select both text and arrow, and then create another auto layout. Add a blue fill color and change the text color to white. For the arrow, add a white fill color. Change the resizing property from hug to fixed width and fixed height of 40 and 40. Center align it and make it round. Select the button and round the corners. Let's add some final touches. Make padding as three. Then apply individual padding to the button and make it 15 on the left. And this is how to create a button using auto layout. Go ahead and play with colors, sizes, layouts, and styles. Happy designing.